solve x squared plus 9x equals negative 18. So we have x squared plus 9x equals negative 18. Okay, we want to start by rearranging this equation so that all of the terms are on one side of the equation and they're equal to 0. So to do that, we add 18 to both sides of the equation. So we have x squared plus 9x plus 18 equals 0. So now we factor this trinomial. It will factor into the product of two binomials. The first terms of the binomials will be x. x times x equals x squared. Now for the constant terms in the binomials, we need to know the signs. So we look at the signs of the terms in the trinomial expression. So this is a positive. That tells us that the signs of the constants in the binomials are both going to be the same. And since this is positive, that tells us that they're both going to be positive. So we have positive here and positive here. So now we need to find two numbers that will multiply together to give us 18 and add together to give us 9. So what multiplies together to get 18? Well, we have 1 times 18. But does 1 plus 18 equal 9? No. 1 plus 18 is 19. So those two numbers don't work. Okay, let's try 2 times 9. 2 times 9 equals 18. But does 2 plus 9 equal 9? No. 2 plus 9 is 11. So those numbers don't work. Okay, what else can we multiply? Well, how about 3 times 6? 3 times 6 equals 18. And 3 plus 6 equals 9. So those are the two numbers that we want for the constants in our binomials. We want 3 and 6. Okay, so now we've factored the trinomial. So now to solve, we want to set each of these terms equal to 0 and solve for x. So we want x plus 3 equal to 0 and x plus 6 equal to 0. Okay, let's start with x plus 3 equal to 0. To solve for x, we just subtract 3 from both sides. So we get x equals negative 3. So that's one of the solutions to our quadratic equation. Now let's take x plus 6 equal to 0. We subtract 6 from both sides. We get x equals negative 6. So that's the second solution to the quadratic equation. Now to make sure the solutions are correct, we need to plug these numbers back into the original equation. So let's do that. Let's start with the original equation. x squared plus 9x equals negative 18. And let's plug in this x equals negative 3 for x. So we have negative 3 squared plus 9 times negative 3 equals 18, negative 18. Negative 3 squared is 9. 9 times negative 3 is negative 27. And 9 minus 27 is negative 18 which equals negative 18. So that checks out. So negative 3 is one of the solutions. Now let's try x equals negative 6. So again, let's start with the original equation. x squared plus 9x equals negative 18. Let's plug in x equals negative 6 in for x. So we have negative 6 squared plus 9 times negative 6. And we want to, what we're trying to find out is if that equals negative 18. So negative 6 squared is 36. 9 times negative 6 is negative 54. And we want to know if that equals negative 18. 36 minus 54 is negative 18. So that does in fact 
equal negative 18. So x equals negative 6 is our other solution. So we solved this quadratic equation. The solutions are x equals negative 3 and x equals negative 6.